that's that all the wins. Shout out to the Raiders, man, we about to win. Can somebody help me find Mac? The Raiders did a great job shutting him down. Sure, he had a fumble recovery, but between you and me, Ronnie boy, I think you could have recovered the fumble. I mean, I don't know what Carr did. I don't know if Carr's been eating his Wheaties, but that pitch that he threw to Jacobs was like a million miles per hour. And I mean, the fact that you can realistically hold one of the best defenders in the entire NFL, yes, he had the fumble recovery, but besides that play, he was silent. Three tackles, only one QB hit, no sacks, and you can't tell me that he wasn't fired up for the game. A pretty quiet player, talked a lot this off, off uh, this entire week. I'm just saying, <laughs> who won the Khalil Mack trade? Let's go to Eldon, aka Turtle. Yo, Mitch, do you think from here on out they will put Max Crosby and Benson Mayo as the starters instead of Cleveland Furl and Arden Key? If they don't, <laughs> if they don't, we should really consider what our coaching staff is doing. They played great. We need to get Benson Mayo on the field more. You need to continue to play with Max Crosby. An overall great performance by them. But the Raiders are staying fresh on the defensive line. Cleveland still needs to get his playing time. Arden Key still needs to get his playing time. But if you don't start Max Crosby and Benson Mayo at this point, I'm really questioning what you're doing. Looks like we have, ooh, it looks like I have a burp, but it looks like we have a super chat from Jake Bishop. Do we have any faith in Arden Key, a.k.a. the next clowny? All the tools just doesn't know how to use them. And shout out to my boy, Mitch, Goat, and Sub. Appreciate that. Please subscribe, youtube.com slash Raidersport. Jake, you can't even put Arden Key and Clowney in the same sentence. I mean, Jadavion Clowney at least has put up some numbers. Arden Key does have a lot of tools. He just can't figure it out right now. Imagine having, like, I'm trying to think of a halfway decent car. Imagine having, I don't know, a BMW. Shout out to BMW. I need one. But not having any tires on it. Like, that's kind of what Arden Key's doing right now. I don't understand how you can be as talented as Arden Key and have no production. Don't understand it. Appreciate the super chat, though. Let's go to High Plains Drifter. Appreciate the $20 super chat, my man. How much of this win had to do with us Gruden's call to come over to UK earlier? So I don't know if you guys know this. Um, <clears throat> obviously, High Plains Drifter definitely does. Last year, the Raiders, they showed up on a Friday and got beat against the Seattle Seahawks 27-3. This week, what did Gruden say? Gruden said, we're going to get there early so we can get there and we can be ready because last year they were tired. The Bears looked really tired in that first half. They showed up on Friday like the Raiders do. And now I'm interested to see how many teams that are going to go to London do exactly what the Raiders do. Get there as early as possible. And I don't know if you guys saw this, but Benson Mayo actually posted on his Instagram like how much the time change was affecting him. Didn't really look like it. But yeah, I think teams are going to start doing that. High Plains. Appreciate the super chat. Another one from uh, Istro Ocha. Get a picture. No sack, Mac. <laughs> Comment train started. All right. Comment no sack, Mac. Right now. No sack, Mac, and I don't know how it started, but we got FABs in the comments section because Khalil Mack had no sacks in this game. And when you go back and I think look at the Raiders' season, you're going to go back and see that they held Von Miller, no sacks. Khalil Mack, no sacks. We need to take the blueprint out of those games, which is run the football down their throat, tire out the defense, and then that way defenders like Khalil Mack, like Von Miller, can't pin their ears back and get after Derek. But great job, no sack, Mack. Let's get it. <laughs> a lot of comments flowing in. No sack, Mac. Let's go to my man, Jerome. No more beast mode. Beast mode is always going to be here. Josh Jacobs needs his own nickname. Josh, his name is not my name too, Jacobs. I don't know what that means. If you guys can think of a better nickname for Josh Jacobs, let me hear it. Let's try to create a nickname for Josh Jacobs. Let's try to do it. Okay? Silent but deadly? Because I didn't see him on Hard Knocks, so I don't think he would like that one. Let's go to David <laughs> Kundick. Love it. Hey, Mitch. How about the profile picture and them Raiders way to win? David, I appreciate the picture. I see that you got one. I know I always kind of bust on your uh, Kundick for not having one, but I appreciate you finally got it. Much love to the nation. Make sure you guys, if you're not already liking us on Facebook as well, make sure you do Facebook.com slash Just Win Baby Raiders. Very, very proud. Very, very proud to say that we have the number one Raiders show on YouTube. 
and on Facebook, but it's because of crazy fans like David, and it's because of all Raiders all day. Appreciate y'all always watching. So if you don't, all day Raiders, he uh, he hit me up on IG. See, I, I see. What do you think happened to Arden Key towards the end when he went down? I don't know the extent of the injury quite yet. I'll get a little bit more research, but I can almost guarantee you're going to be hearing about it this week on the Raiders Report because of the loyal subscribers that we have. We drop a video just about every single day. Actually, not even just about. We drop a video every single day. Let's go to Steven Ritter over on Facebook. What up, my man? Let's also give it up for Tom Cable. Hashtag PC for Praise Cable. So, Steven obviously is a very loyal watcher. Some people might say that I'm too hard on Tom Cable, but when you look at Tom Cable coming into the year, it wasn't good. And we used to do a hashtag FC for Fire Cable. But you know what, Steven? You are 100% right. Four Chucky Heads believe it, baby, that we need to praise Cable a little bit. Now, personally, I don't like Cable. That's why I'm on YouTube. But we need to praise Tom Cable. So I'm okay with some PCs in the comments section. Very, very happy with how this offensive line showed up today. Let's go to Chemo Whittier Cal. Hopefully I got that right. Does Max deserve a starting spot? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Max Crosby needs to start from here on out. Needs to start every single game. You can't show me a player that gives more effort than Max Crosby. And I understand we drafted for old number four overall. I understand Arden Key came in as the starter. But Benson Mayoa and Max Crosby need to be starting more. You can't tell me why. If you could give me a reasonable argument why they shouldn't be starting, sure, go for it. But I'm not just not gonna leave. I'm just not gonna believe you. Also, get a picture. Chris Raider 90. What up, Chris? In a perfect world, which Raiders are being traded and who are you trading for? <laughs> In a perfect world, I'm trying to get Jalen Ramsey because he didn't play again today because of a back. I, when we were one and two, I was like, I don't know if the Raiders make a trade. But right now the Raiders are three and two. They are in the playoffs if it started today. And Gary on sure he had his ups and his downs. Perfect world. I'm going out and I'm trading for Jalen Ramsey. I don't really want, I shouldn't say I don't really want A.J. Green. But I don't want him from the injury standpoint. If Stephon Diggs wants to come over and he wants to be a number one wide receiver. Because right now this team is scaring me with the depth. I'm okay with it. But here's the other thing. We can beat a Bears team without our number one wide receiver. That's an important thing to know. Let's go to Jorge. What up, man? Hey, Mitch, I love the show. Well, Jorge, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Need you to do me a favor. Two things. One, share the show, youtube.com slash Sport. And if you guys like the new intro I got, check out my man, Nicky Bonds, okay? He's on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora. Big time Raiders fan, and he's breaking down always some sick, sick beats. But please, if you like the new intro, go check out my man, Nicky Bonds. All right, what's the question? Do you think any... Wait, what do you think about our rookies? They balled out. Foss Moreau, four catches, 46 yards, great game. Max Crosby, another great game. Josh Jacobs, another great game. Our rookies are playing very, very well. And it gets me excited to see what this future could hold because from where this team was two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, to where we are now is totally, totally different. Jorge, I love you. Balled out. Get a picture. Speaking of balls out. <laughs> I see I can't <laughs> I love you guys <laughs> you make me laugh you make me love my job so hang on a second let me clear my throat because apparently I swallow cum <clears throat> what does this mean for the rest of the season FAB 69 FAB in the comments section <laughs> keep your friends close enemies closer FAB though I'm kind of over them like <laughs> we have a lot of fun on this show I appreciate y'all what does it mean for the rest of the season Let's take it week by week. Let's enjoy this win. Let's go to the bye week. Let's get healthy because we need to get healthy. But right now, we got a tough road ahead of us. I mean, you're at Green Bay. Then you're at Houston. And right now, in terms of me going to the Houston game, it's only one Chucky head. I'm right now working on it. But week nine versus the Lions, am I going to that game? That one's four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. So if you're going to be at the Lions game, hit me up. We can tailgate together. I can't drink a beer with every person, but I'll do my best. We'll get some pictures, have a good time, but I am going to the Lions game. All right, Oscar, one of my most loyal watchers. Mitch, thought on special team. I wish we would have kicked the field goal, but when I did my grades video, I gave special teams a B grade. 
I also gave offense a B plus, defense an A minus. I wish they would have let Daniel Carlson kick that 54 yarder. I really, really wish they would have. AJ Cole, I thought, played pretty well again today. Uh, I love the special teams play with Eric Harris there. It was a ballsy call, but it was a big reason why we were able to continue that drive. So that's why I gave special teams a B. Let's go to Mauro Estrada. How healthy do you believe we will be in week seven and how the game would go? The fact that we get back Gabe Jackson, very, very clutch. I'm hoping Tyrell Williams is back. Very, very clutch if we have him back. Hopefully, J.J. Nelson's back. The Raiders are banged up right now. There's no doubt about that. Heck, Josh, even for a few times, was questionable, came back. So this team needs to heal up. Week six is a perfect time for a bye right now because of the amount of injuries. But here's the other thing with the Packers. They might not have Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is dealing with a foot injury, and if the Packers don't have their top wide receiver, so it's important to watch the Packers game this week. It's important to watch how Geronimo Allison does. It's important to see how MBS does. Because right now, we're on to Green Bay. And if we can start this season off at 4-2, and two, that's, that's very impressive. Let's go to Jake Bishop with another super chat. My dude, very, very kind. Thoughts on Waller's game? Waller did exactly what I think he needed to do. He didn't try to overdo too much, but also the Raiders didn't really try to force it to him. They spread the ball very well today. Now, off the top of my head, let me see if I can figure out. I think it was four catches for 39 yards. I'm going to look at the box score right now. Um, four catches for 39 yards. So right now, Darren Waller has 37 catches on the year. He's having an absolutely incredible season. And I was going to say, I thought I made it. Cool. Four catches, 39 yards, 9.8 yards per catch. Still does not have a touchdown. We need to get Darren Waller a touchdown. There's no player that deserves it more than Darren Waller. But the tight end that really stepped up clutch for the Raiders this week was Foster Moreau. Let's go to another super chat from Robert. Josh Jackhammer Jacobs. Are you guys okay with that? Is that, is that, is that the one we're going to go with? So this is what I need you to do. Somebody who's watching the show right now, okay? Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. And then take the link of the YouTube video that you're watching this live. Take the screenshot. Put the link in on Twitter. Tag me in it. Tag Josh Jacobs. And we're going to ask him if Jackhammer's okay. And if we can get some retweets and likes on it, that way he sees it, I would definitely appreciate that. So the first person to do that, you will, four Chucky Heads, get a retweet from me. All right, we got another one coming in now from Derek Constantino. Is it just me, or has Worley been much better than Conley this season? Yes. I think, Der I think Worley has been our most productive cornerback. It's also why he has played the most snaps for the Raiders on defense this year. Like, he has no doubt, I think, been... More consistent than Gary on Conley. Gary on still our cornerback one, but Worley has played very, very well. Looks like we got another super chat. Woo! A lot of super chats. All right. I'm about it. Josh Jukes Jacobs. <laughs> Hashtag Raiders. I'm losing my voice. Alex, I almost said to get a picture, but technically you have one. Josh Jukes Jacobs. So if you guys like these nicknames, what I want you to do is take this video link, put it on Twitter, tag me in it, and we also got to tag Josh. We got to see which nickname he likes. We'll come up with a whole bunch of them. I'll put some on the channel. We'll come up with a uh, nickname for Josh Jacobs. I appreciate every single person who's watching us live right now. We're getting close to 27,400 subscribers, but I want to get to 30K subscribers. Once you get to 30K subscribers, more giveaways, more videos. I can do Edward 40 hands. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. And if I missed any of your questions, you guys can hit me up on IG. You can hit me up on Twitter at MitchellRens365. I appreciate everyone who watched us. The Raiders, they got a big time win against the Bears. They are now 3-2 and two, going into the bye week. And if you're with this Raiders team and you're a part of the nation, you need to subscribe to the Raiders Report. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I would definitely appreciate that. Raiders win. Throw it in the comment section. All right. I'm heading out, guys. I love you. And again, if I miss any of your questions, hit me up on IG or Twitter, at MitchellRens365. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.